Welcome to the Goal Zero Toolbox Talk series. Today's Toolbox Talk. Psychological Safety 2. Low motivation and accountability coupled with low psychological safety produces apathy. People believe that there is no point in trying to achieve anything, and there are no negative consequences for not delivering. And there's likely to be little or no support to try new ways of doing things. That's the perfect breeding ground for passivity and disengagement. Meanwhile, an environment of low motivation and accountability and high psychological safety produces a sense of comfort. Everyone feels trusted, respected, and cared for, but there's no drive to get things done. This scenario could score quite well on traditional measures of workplace culture people enjoy the environment, like the people they work with, and feel valued. But it doesn't offer opportunities for people to challenge themselves, learn, and grow, which are basic drivers for people to flourish. Perfection is impossible, so we need to face mistakes when they occur and create a learning culture, which gives us the chance to find ways to improve for the future. This requires a willingness to admit mistakes and talk openly about what went wrong and what needs to change. And we need good levels of psychological safety in place before we have those conversations. As you can see, creating a culture of psychological safety does not reduce the importance of motivation and accountability. Establishing a psychologically safe culture will enhance your motivation and willingness to hold yourself and others accountable. And it will do the same for your team members. Psychological safety at work is the belief that all employees can speak up safely to share any opinions without experiencing any repercussions. A workplace with a high level of psychological safety is less afraid of any negative consequences that might come from making mistakes, taking intelligent risks, or being candid with the rest of the team. Creating psychological safety starts with an organization's leadership team. Leaders need to be open about the company's values to encourage employees to have the confidence to openly participate. The following are the stages of psychological safety. Inclusion safety is the level where we make the people in the company feel that they belong. This stage is demonstrated when the people feel safe, and management accepts them for who they are. Learner safety is when the employees feel safe to ask questions, experiment and learn. Workers feel open to giving and receiving feedback and making mistakes. Contributor safety is when the employees feel safe to make contributions by using their skill sets. Challenger safety is the ultimate level as employees feel safe to respectfully challenge leadership when they see an opportunity to change or improve things at work. Looking for feedback by allowing all team members to have a say on operational changes can help the team work more efficiently. Use any one-on-one -on -one meetings to have an in-depth discussion about how team members feel about the way leadership is working and what they think the leadership team can improve. Use these meetings to help understand the team members' needs and personalities.